Hi guys, welcome back to another Steam free to play walkthrough. Today we have Fantasy Gladiators, which is supposed to be where you draft gladiators like you draft football players in fantasy football. And I'm about to start my fantasy football team this Saturday, so this looks exciting. And I love me some fantasy. Um, it does seem like it's multiplayer. I'm hoping that you can play it single player as well. Um, let's just leave it like this because I don't know what I'm doing. Team one's pick. Oh, it does look like it's. Oh, it's like fantasy football. I can just draft for the other team. It'll be fine. Let's see. Joe sucks. It seems. Oh wait, he hits everybody. That's a good thing. Special frenzy. This guy looks like a local PvP game. Oh, you can actually unlock characters. That's actually super dope. Alright, I'm just going to draft who looks cool. Alright, Crusher. This guy. Oh. Oh, wait. I drafted for Team 2 already. Well then. The Baker. Wow. Keep messing this up. Oh. So it works just like fantasy. You draft first and then he gets to draft first and second. Or second and third. Okay, I got it. I got it. Looks like Team 2 is going to win this one from what I'm seeing. Drumbe. Alright, let's see who wins. <laughs> oh, it's kind of weird that they made a local PvP game. I haven't seen a local game in like forever that's just local. Coach? Ah. Ah. You can coach apparently, but I don't have enough money for it. Team. Oh, you can upgrade the stadium. Interesting. Yeah. I think one thing that would be really cool is if they added just like an AI that would pick its own character. Characters, that'd be really dope, I think. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Panda Boy's getting destroyed. It's not looking good. That fox is just screwing up everyone. Yeah, oh man, they got <laughs> destroyed. Winner, not Panda Boy. Huh. Well. And there's 15 rounds of this? <laughs> Alright. Let's see if it's uh, any RNG based or if it's just really who picks the better character to win. Well, now it looks like the left team's winning. I didn't change anything. Interesting. Oh, never mind. They got destroyed again. So you can find a best team. That's kind of cool. If you wanted to play a game with like one of your friends you had over or something like that. Hmm, in game. Wonder how you unlock characters or if there are characters unlocked. This is not single player. But, uh. Alright, guys, I'm gonna find an HIO game to put with this because it wasn't really much of a game for single player. It's an interesting concept, but I do wish they had it where you could play single player and it had something like some kind of story in an auto draft or something. I don't know. I just feel like local games are cool and it's a neat idea to make one, but having a single player game would make it better, a single player mode. Alright guys, let me look for that HIO game. I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome to Escape Rooms with the Narrator. Which apparently has some kind of like built-in achievement system. That's kind of cool. Click. See what it does. Art Connoisseur, Escapee, Cyberphobe, and Loiterer. See if we can get them all. 
I guess you listen to the narrator and you try to escape. I've never done an escape room, but oh god. Welcome to my escape rooms. I'm okay. the game narrator, and you can call me the game narrator. Okay, game game narrator. I will help you with this escape room since it is pretty hard and it's the only one in the game, so. Okay, help me. I mean, why not help you? Yeah, help me. The objective of this escape room is to get three keys. Three keys. The first key should be up at down at the flower pots, not up at the shelves. Don't look up there. No, 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 no. Oh, There's not just the dust and up there. Look down at the flower pots, okay? What flower pot? Those are flower pots? That's like a. I can't even move, dog. How do I move? Arrows? Uh. Look around with the mouse, click to Oh, you click to move, okay. Ah, oh. Ah, there we go, okay, I'm done. Stop, I'm just... stop looking at the shelves. Even if there was a key up there, you wouldn't be strong enough to push them. <laughs> stop looking at, stop looking, stop looking. Oh. Uh -huh. Ah, there was a it key did. there. Oh. The uh, second key should be around the computer. Okay. Not that the paintings, I mean, you can look at them and admire the hard work put into it by the developer, but there's nothing there. What the hell are you looking at the paintings for? They don't progress the story or, or plot in any way, and they're just there for decoration. Oh, I guess there was a key in the huh. painting. My bad. Whoopsie. <laughs> the narrator is a liar! He's a giant liar. Okay, to progress the story now. <laughs> Where's the key not at next? And click on it to open the login screen. I'm not kidding. That's the only choice you have. The password to the computer is coolcat21. No, it's not. Once you log in, a print a page from the printer to the left will print out, and that's the code to the safe, okay? You're a liar. Why do you lie to me, dude? <laughs> God dang. <laughs> Trying to meme me or something. Oh, maybe my mouse is locked to the screen now. Good. Okay. Good. CGJ21. It's 2019. CGJ2019. CGJ2019. Oh. How do I. CGJ2019. Nice. Yeah? Did I do it? It's uh, just a black screen? Yeah. That's it. I'm not kidding. That's the only choice you have. So you see, the password to the what I'm talking about is, is right now I can't type in it. So I have to hit the space key. Get out of the game so I can find my mouse, put it over the box. Click it, in. type it in, page from the hit the enter key, What? That's but now the wrong my mouse can leave the screen, <laughs> which is toxic, what the heck? insanely toxic, <laughs> but it's all right, it's not that big a deal, at least I figured it out, it was getting on my nerves for a hot minute though, not gonna lie to you, one, nine, eight, seven, what, that opened, how, you typed the wrong password in, Okay. Now, I grab the key what? and then I just chill. <laughs> I've spent this entire stupid week doing this stupid game jam for you. The game for your stupid enjoyment. It was pretty you neat. Ignore me. You, you disrespect me. You don't follow my rules. And yeah, m okay, m maybe I lied to you a little bit, but that's because I wanted the play time to be longer. But see... <laughs> I'm so mad right now. You know what? You know, finish the stupid game. If go to the end door. I'm gonna go take a chill pill. I'm gonna go do zen right now. Go, go. Do the zen. I guess I'll talk about the game while I'm waiting for him to come back. Um, because there's a loiter achievement, so I guess that means just chilling here. But, uh... It's a pretty neat game. I like the concept. I always like games when you have a narrator talking to you and they're always like misguiding you or having like inter like interesting conversation like when the darkness comes or games like that um could be a little bit more big where there's more stuff to do but it's definitely a good start 
Um, the thing with the computer though, that's probably my main complaint because it's really hard to figure out how to type in the box. What else is there? I feel like using the mouse to move too is very strange to me. You think it'd be like a WASD thing or like a troll? Oh, I clicked out of it. The arrow keys. Is he coming back? There's a loiter achievement. He's got to come back eventually, right? I wonder how long I have to sit here. Yeah, I guess that's good enough. I guess I'll just leave. Because I've been sitting here for about five, six minutes now. Maybe longer. And he hasn't came back, so. Alright. Let's see if we got it. Probably not, but. Oh, we did get the loiterer one. We didn't get Archon Sir, but I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching as always. If you would, please like and subscribe. If you like videos like these. Uh, this game, like I said, it's a pretty good start, but it could use a lot of stuff. The main thing I have an issue with is how you have to type into the computer. That's that's really annoying, actually, if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I struggled with that for a hot minute. But, ah!